thanks so much for joining us. First at four, I'm Christy Casciano. The Cornell Jr. accused of posting violent threats against Jewish people on campus on Sunday came face to face with a federal judge in the last hour or so. Our cameras not allowed in federal court, but News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan has obtained the jail booking photo of 21-year-old Patrick Dye. Let's go to Andrew now, inside taking notes, giving us insight, Andrew, into what happened. So how did he respond to the charges today? Christy, he was very stoic. He didn't show much emotion because it was a very technical hearing. The judge was simply asking Patrick Dye if he understood what was happening, and he responded simply with, yes, your honor, on a few occasions answering her questions. He was read the charge against him, but he was not expected, and he did not make any kind of plea, either guilty or not guilty today. He wasn't expected to. That will happen at a subsequent hearing. But Dye did appear in court. He didn't show any emotions. He was formally charged with posting these threats, encouraging shootings, stabbings, and rapings of Jewish people. Dye was assigned a federal public defender. In the room watching were his mom and a family friend, neither of whom showed much emotion either, but you could tell their eyes were very much focused on what he was doing up in court. They were watching intently. At the end of the hearing, Dai waived his right to a bail hearing. That means there's no chance that he'll be let out of jail, at least not right now. He thought it was best to not go through that hearing and just sit there until his next hearing two weeks from today, Christy. Andrew, thank you for your coverage. And Cornell's president just announced this Friday there will be a community day. So no classes will be held. Faculty and staff will be excused from work, except for employees who provide essential services.